In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to live stream in both horizontal and vertical mode. Now, for the sake of this video, we're gonna be streaming to Facebook and Instagram, Facebook in horizontal and Instagram in vertical mode. However, you can use the same concept to stream to any platform, YouTube Shorts, YouTube, YouTube, and you know, Instagram and Facebook, whatever you want, like even TikTok, if you have access to TikTok stream key. So obviously the first thing we're gonna need two main plugins the first one is gonna be of course both plugins are gonna be from atom.tv i'm gonna leave a link down below and you want to make sure you go ahead and download the atom vertical plugin and then the atom multi-stream plugin okay they are 100 free so just click download they're gonna show up in your download folder just click to it and uh, install make sure obs is shut down and once they are uh, installed go ahead and open obs and once the OBS is open, you go here under Docs and then you're gonna see A2 Multi Stream. Okay, just make sure it's checked. Once it's checked, it's gonna show up in your OBS user interface. And then make sure you also check vertical scenes, vertical sources, and the vertical. All right. Once you have all that checked, you should have your OBS looking like this. Obviously, I have added my cameras and everything. Now, if this is your first time using the vertical plugin, adding a camera is the same as adding a camera and a microphone to the horizontal canvas. Basically, you go under vertical scenes and vertical sources. You can add a new scene here and then add a new source basically you can add your camera as you can see if i go to property right i already have i have a second camera added here sorry this one right here i have a camera already added here and this is my housepad meet to kind of webcam again this is super awesome guys if you have an extra camera that can use in vertical mode you can do that it's gonna be really really awesome and use another one in horizontal if you don't have that you can use the same camera in horizontal mode and actually bring it over to the vertical kind of you know scenes the only problem is you're gonna have to crop it so that it can actually fit in okay again i'm gonna let you guys play with this and then build your scenes as you wish now the first thing we're gonna set up our facebook live stream now to do that we need to go to your facebook profile or youtube page I have my page open go to live video and then hit the go live button and then make sure you choose streaming software and then what you need to do is you need to copy the stream key all right so i'm gonna go ahead and copy this stream key go back to obs go to settings and then i want to make sure you go to stream your stream you want to choose facebook live and then server you can leave it to default and the stream key this is what we just copied you just want to make sure you paste it in here hit apply and then before you hit okay you want to go to output make sure you go to output mode make sure you choose advanced and then make sure you go through the settings but mainly the only thing you can copy my settings guys the only thing you need to take care of here is you need to use at least 6000 kbps because facebook does not go over 6000 make sure you use constant bit rate and make sure for the keyframe intervals you use two seconds and everything else guys just copy my settings you should be fine another thing is you want to make sure uh, you hit apply and go to video and you want to make sure you put the base canvas 1920 by 1080 output make sure it's 1920 by 1080 and then common fps values leave it at 30 frames per second if you're not gaming if you're gaming you can actually put it at 60 frames per second so now once you're done we have our facebook settings already set now we're gonna go ahead and and, and actually set up our instagram settings and facebook is gonna be streaming from the main canvas of obs so we're not gonna be using the multi-streaming plugin for that however for our instagram live stream we're gonna actually do that inside the multi streaming plugin which is here so we're gonna go to this gear icon and then we're gonna go to vertical canvas and then we're gonna hit add new and then we're gonna go to other services and then we're gonna go to output name we can call it ig and then server we're gonna go ahead and go to instagram to get that so i want to make sure you go to your instagram account make sure you logged in go under create go to live video add the title audience choose public hit next and then this is what you need so you need the stream url first 
copy it and then paste in obs under server and then go to stream key copy it and then paste it inside obs under stream key and then create output now you can go to output settings since we're streaming to facebook usually the settings for facebook and instagram are almost the same and they work exactly the same no problem now we're gonna go to advanced settings and as you can see we have what we call the video encoder now we actually gonna use a very cool encoder okay this is where we have a setting and then for audio you want to make sure you leave it there and hit okay you also you can go here under this get icon on the very cool plugin okay and then go under streaming and then you can actually tweak the settings as you wish okay so as you can see video bit rate is already using the main uh, 6000 from obs and what you could do instead of actually having to do everything manually these advanced settings would be if you were streaming to another platform that has different settings like youtube you would have to enter everything manually but since we streaming on facebook and most settings are actually the same you can actually click use main obs settings and that's gonna solve your problems and then hit okay so right now we are ready to go live all i gotta do is just hit start streaming and this is gonna send our main stream to facebook and then go to very cool canvas here and then hit live stream or hit the kind of go live button and this is going to send our live stream to instagram so now if i go to instagram you can see that we're getting a signal all you gotta do is just hit the go live button and you're gonna be able to be live on instagram and then if i go to facebook you can see that i'm getting a signal all you need to do is just add the details your title you can call it test and description right and then hit save and then uh, after that you just hit this go live button and you're gonna be live to facebook now everything looks good and it's working however if you want to make sure you don't have any lag issues or any problems you want to make sure you master the obs settings for multi streaming and to do that you need to check out this video right here so make sure you check it out guys and i'll see you there take care